six. A Jacksonville man is dead. Three innocent bystanders are hurt and two people are in custody tonight following a violent holiday weekend at Jenny Springs. Two men from St. Mary's, Georgia were arrested in connection to Friday night's shooting of 34 year old Cody Stewart from Jacksonville. Fisher Watts was arrested for first degree murder. Dallas Watts was arrested for resisting arrest and possession of a firearm as a felon. Investigators are still looking for suspects in Saturday night's shooting. Raleigh Phillips joins us live now from the Gilcrest County Sheriff's Office. And Raleigh, what else did we learn today about these shootings that a lot of folks are talking about? Yes, now we know both shootings started over fights between different groups of people. The Gilchrist County Sheriff's Office says they used a lot of manpower fr for Friday night's shooting, so they had to call in help from FDLE and surrounding counties to investigate Saturday night's shooting, and they said there were just too many intoxicated people at Jenny Springs. Will be the last time that we ever go on a holiday. Devin Dulaney says he was terrified Saturday night as he watched police cars and a helicopter arrive at Jenny Springs. It was extremely concerning. We couldn't go to sleep that night. Um, you know, everybody felt in danger. The violence started late Friday night into early Saturday morning when 34 year old Cody Stewart was shot and killed. Investigators say there was an argument over a parking spot earlier in the day, which led to a physical fight. Fisher Watts and his brother Dallas were arrested in connection to the shooting. Then Saturday night, a large fight in another part of the park. Investigators say someone shot into the crowd, hitting three innocent bystanders. One person has very serious injuries. No one has been arrested yet, but they are looking for multiple suspects. The Gilchrist County Sheriff's Office says more than 20 thousand people were at Jenny Springs over the weekend. The density at that location and the excess and open use of intoxicants there is surely a recipe for disaster no matter where it is, um, but it, this is what faces us here. Delaney says he saw the crowds firsthand. He hopes the owners of Jenny Springs will make changes to ensure nothing like this happens again. Something that in a, in a place where we all need to find our reprieve from day to day life, um, it's a disappointment, you know, and I really hope that these things are handled so we feel safe to go back. I also asked the sheriff's office about the 4th of July. That's the next big holiday weekend. The under sheriff told me they will be working with the owners of Jenny Springs and the county commission to find a way to prevent something like this from happening again. I also reached out to Jenny Springs again today. They told me they are not commenting on this and they will let the sheriff's office handle any information. Live in Trenton, Riley Phillips, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Riley. And to read more about how family is remembering Stuart, you can search for the story on firstcoastnews.com and also on the First Coast News app.